How's everybody doing today? Uh, only one planned interruption. Take me about 30 seconds. Uh. Residential dollars. That's what we're going to look at today. Hey, Chris, how you doing, bud? Oh, glad you can make it. Sorry, um, somebody just sent me a picture of a car. I hope that's his new car. That's a really cool Beamer. Nice. <laughs> that's cool, Ash. I like it. I miss my 740. <sighs> All right. I got a piece of copper to show off to you guys. Got this from a friend. That's pretty cool. Call it a zombie coin. Zombie currency of the apocalypse. One ounce, fine copper. I love copper rounds. Uh, so I got this one. I got this one from a friend, SMK, great guy. And then I won this one off of uh, JW's channel, which I thought was kind of cool. Molon Levy, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Yeah. That was cool. This is also an ounce of copper. Second Amendment one. Those are cool. Another look at the back of this one. Biohazard sign with blood splatter. That's so awesome. No? Oh, I got to add it to the stream first. There we go. <laughs> I was like, where's the scope? Yeah, oh, that's, you can kind of see it. It's really cool looking in person. How right. oh, you're looking forward to this? Yeah, we're going to switch back to this one. I got the camera up close today so we can look at them. And hopefully it'll charge up at the same time. Today, it seems to be dying. It's a pretty dirty one. There it is. Oh, that actually will, that should work pretty well. Oh, nice. Okay. How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you, Global. Thank you for stopping by. So that's what's on the, um, I believe it's the reverse of each of them. 
pretty cool Statue of Liberty. Give her a little better focus. Andrew Johnson. I gotta shut that down. Something keeps flashing on my other monitor and distracting me. And there's the interruption I was talking about. I will be right back. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, America. How you doing, brother? Glad you could join us. We're going to stare at some, some dollar coins. I just had a missed time, miss, miss time to rival. I knew it was going to show up just as I went live. Been waiting for him for an hour. All right. with John Adams. It's kind of cool. And each of them have the, the number of the president on, which is a nice cheater. So this is second, and he is the 17th, Andrew Johnson. 
gives the years they were president. All with the same back. There's John Adams. And I don't think any of these are more rare than the rest. Um, they did come out from 2007 to 2016. And all the ones I had in front of me, I found in circulation. Hey, Mick, how you doing, bud? So there's nothing. Yeah. There's a George Washington. He's in pretty good shape. Let's get him under the scope. Good old George. Let me try something real quick. That looks better. I don't need all that light. All right. Shout out the cell phone in the middle. All right, maybe that'll work. Now I'm trying a new setup so I don't have my phone taped to my ceiling anymore. Joking, it was never taped. But yeah, these are all going to have that same back. John Adams. Zachary Taylor. That's a nice shiny one. Twelfth president. William Henry Harrison. He looks British, doesn't he? There's another William Henry Harrison. Let's see the year they made them on it. So this one's 2009. Hmm. Didn't realize that. Didn't put the years. Yeah. I think I missed something in chat. Is he a pawn star? Thomas Jefferson. All right, then I can move the camera around. He looks like a zombie. What's going on with them eyes? I keep flipping them over. And, uh. Oh, they look better under the scope. Now, Thomas Jefferson's the same guy on the nickel. That's pretty cool. 1801 to 1809. Over a hundred million. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I forgot about this. That's probably where the year is. Um, over a hundred million of these. But... I forgot there was writing on the side of them. Let's see. 
if I can get to focus on it. Oh, yeah, not enough. I'm gonna go under the scope. I forgot there's writing on the side of these. Oh, the lighting is way off to be doing that. Let's see if I can read this myself. Date, mint mark, and mottos incused in on edge. <laughs> awesome. That one's pretty wore down. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one you can totally see it. Stay focused on my hand. You can make these guys motion sick. Ah. All right, so we have E pluribus unum. And God we trust. 2007. P. Oh, they put it all on the edge. Yep. Kind of see it on that one. Oh, that's awesome, Sword Keys. I'm sure he'll love them. That is cool. I, I, she just said, um, I just sent 14 rolls, mint wrapped, uncirculated, unopened of presidential one dollars to Big Flip. She got them from a local credit union. He'd been sitting on them for years. Yeah, no, that's cool. I'm, I'm sure he'll, he'll know what to do with them. That is cool. Yeah, we. I haven't talked to my bank about them yet. They might be able to order them. Probably. They're, yeah, they're still used. We get these from the self-checkout at Walmart. Oh, there you go. Disney Princess got it in change from the train fair. Yeah, put a 20 in for a $3 ticket. They pop these out. Oh, there you go. Yeah, she didn't feel comfortable looking at them to, to pick ones for grading, but sure didn't want to put them out there for circulation. Big Flip is a, definitely the guy to do it. All right, a little lag going on. So, hello, Disney Princess. Hello, Silver Keys. Hey, Miss Southern Bell. How you doing? All right. That's cool. We got to look at the edges. No worries. Lurking's cool. I do that a lot. Friday to the Monday. Laugh out loud. <laughs> uh, nothing like cold coffee. Hmm. Oh, definitely, definitely. Hey, Lorna, welcome. How you doing? We got here Richard Nixon. I'm not a crook. 
he is our, I believe he's our first president to ever be impeached. Or did he resign? I don't remember. Yeah. I got one underneath. Oh, they're talking about the mint, I bet. Gerald Ford, and got to be trust, 38th president, 1974 to 77. So he was president while, uh, while I was just a child. Another George Washington. Phone cameras lagging. I'll reset that real quick. All right, the cam back going. Not going backwards. Oh, yeah, that's a little better. Another Thomas Jefferson. Oh, there we go. Andrew, Andrew Johnson, Clinton and Trump. I don't have a Trump one. Uh, I think there's a Clinton in here. There might not be though. What do we have them up through? Nope, Reagan's the last one. James Buchanan. Fifteenth. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty sure he resigned. Now that I thought about it, he would have been impeached, but no doubt about it. I like his haircut. James Polk. I don't think he's up here yet. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah there's lots of Trump Trump coins like that for sale. I think we've run into James Buchanan yet. Oh, wait. Hulk. We just saw him. Maybe there's seven in my hand again. Put him there. Andrew Johnson. Some of them are facing forward. Some of them facing all the way to the left. I don't know what the different different directions mean. They might have some some significance. But like yeah, just barely to the right, completely forward, all the way to the left. There's another Buchanan. Oh, you got to die to be on the coin. Okay. So. When did they end these? They ended these in 2016. So, yep. There we go. Got to be dead to be on a coin. Hmm. On a circulating American coin. It used to be that way with stamps, too. I think it might still be, though. <laughs> that would be funny if you guys were all on the same tour. All right, John Tyler. He has definitely got a big nose. <laughs> Looks like a nice guy, though. So they also made these in gold, which I thought was kind of cool. And then they also made a companion set of the wives, so the, all the first wives. But I think that's only in collector sets or something, or it's only in, yeah, I'd have to read. Oh, they're 24 karat gold. Uh, well, we found our first Lincoln. Yeah, so Ricky, you can see all these are pretty, pretty worn up. I haven't um, I haven't washed any of them, so this one might look pretty good if I just rinse that off. It's just dirt and grime. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, silver keys. There's a, a bunch of the um, half dollar Trump size copper and silver rounds that are that are from other mints. All right, another James Buchanan. Thomas Jefferson. Another Thomas Jefferson. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have my own T-shirt now. It's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, 
I put a whole bunch of stuff on on the, on the merch for the website. All kinds of weird, cool stuff. I haven't seen her for a little while. I think this is one of the, the prettiest Liberty coins coins out there. I just love this this angle and everything. I wonder if, I wonder if that's the angle from the ground. Probably not. But I just like that one. It's very cool. Oh, there we go, Silver Keys. Thank you. The act specifies that a former president to be honored, they must have been deceased for at least two years before issue. But the program ended in 2016 after Reagan, so they won't make any more. Answer that question. They switched to Native American now. Let me go look real quick. They have the new Sacagaweas, like um, Hannah has. So 2009 to date is now Native American. And it looks like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Looks like they have 12 of them out. Unless that's the front. Yeah, okay, three. Looks like 11. I'm probably miscounting. But yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Disney. Yeah, maybe they'll have them. <laughs> All right. Another Lincoln. I, or did I put it back in my hand? Because that looks the same one. Put it in there. I think I flipped it back in my hand. <laughs> so most most cities or towns have a section of streets named after presidents. And it's normally, I don't know, the, the first 10 or 15 or so. And um, Van Buren Street is almost in every town you can think of. There's a Van Buren. And my my great grandparents, my grandparents, my parents were all raised in the same house on a street on Van Buren. I think that's cool. And if they don't, you can ask them why. Why? Franklin Pierce. We go from Frizzy to Curly. So the F here. Oh, another William Henry Harris. So I've gone through these before, so they're kind of in order. So that's probably why I'm getting two or three in a row. I know there's already a pole cup here. Oh, there was. I don't see him now. Oh, there he is. Bottom left. Millard Delmore. He looks stern. Oh, here's another poll. That would be three. And another Lincoln. And even better shape than the last one. <laughs> it's got a little bit of everything on it. Oh, 
Rutherford Hayes. He's got a nice big beard. Let me see if I can wash this one off a little. Yeah, I just clean dirt off more dirt. That's cool. All right. Uh. <laughs> All right, we got about ten more of these left. To cash in the ugly ones, that's like thirty bucks sitting there. These are my nephews, though. Isn't it George Washington? Oh, Mick, you missed it. Okay. This is um a friend of mine, SMK. He sent, sent this, this to me. me. So it's a it's a, it's a barber half dollar looking copper round with zombies. Oh, is that double diet? <laughs> Pretty intense. Biohazard on the back. Zombie bucks. Currency of the apocalypse. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's pretty pretty good size. It's one ounce of copper. So I like collecting copper rounds because um, they're not too expensive. Um, here we can get these for three, four bucks each, where it'd be 20 bucks silver or more. So you can collect the designs and still have something that is worth its weight in whatever it's made out of. Yeah, it's worth its weight in copper. And I've had this one for a little while. The Viking one. So that was very cool. That was a a complete surprise showed up in the mail. So that was awesome. But I surprised him too, so. Andrew Johnson. We already have him. John Adams. He was the first one we pulled. This is a better copy of him, though. Another 
Thomas Jefferson. Oh, I think I have two stacks of Jefferson going. I do. Nothing up there. They can stare at each other. <laughs> uh, another Franklin Pierce. Oh, and I ran into Sacagaweas. Uh, they were in the same, the same hole. So here's the 2000. This one's in a little better shape. These are just dumped. These are dumped in with them because they, they aren't for sale. So I don't want to mix them up and send somebody. Say I have a, a, good, a decent one and it'd be bad. That's a really cool back on this one. It's really cool. All right. Last one we have James Garfield. <laughs> I wonder if he's ginger like Garfield. So that's all the presents I have. But we don't really collect them. He just he, he grabbed, I think, 30 bucks worth one day and just threw them in with this collection. So not nearly all of them. 15, 16? Out of, I think, 40. Okay, I count 39, <laughs> but I was counting fast. Yeah, so anything dated um, after 2011 was for numis numismatic cells only, so they were only collector editions. So they did stop circulating, but they're still legal tender. And I don't think, let's see what we have. After 2011. So 2012 would be Arthur Cleveland Harris. McKinley Roosevelt Taft Wilson. Harding Coolidge Hoover Roosevelt. Truman Eisenhower Kennedy. Lyndon. Nixon Ford and Reagan. So we only have two. To their weren't released in circulation. So NIFCs, uh, but the rest were. So Ford and then Nixon somewhere. Hey, Liz, how you doing? I hope I didn't just screw up my audio. I had both both mics on. All right. Oh, what should we look through next? Oh, here. I'll show you some of these. Oh, look at that. I found more presidentials. I knew I pulled aside some nice ones, but I and I just found them. I forgot about that. Yeah, so I have the nice ones. Oh, I don't want to push those aside yet. Oh, these are shiny. Let's do this. Let's move the camera back into. Can I get a. Can I get 
No shadow? Probably not. Ooh. All right, that should be a little better. All right, we got Franklin Pierce. See how much shinier these are. I'm gonna get a Polk. Here's a shiny Washington. Blood Fillmore. Huh. Just seems like you have to say that name that way. And John Adams. Oh, there's a Lincoln. Another John Adams. James Madison. And Abraham Lincoln again. Well, that's cool. Some shiny ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I call call people darling. You have to leave the G off. It's darling. <laughs> It'll slip out. It always does. All right. So I'm going to push these all up. Ooh, make a mess of them now. Camera down. Da -doom, boom. Focus. All right. <laughs> All right. These are the. I got to look up. I'm going to say the wrong thing. We got these on the site now. They're, it's it's cool. It's it's if you like varieties, this is some nickels that you need to need to have. It's called the Westward Journey. In the Westward Journey Nickel Series 2004-2005 commemorate the bicentennial of the Louisiana Purchase and the journey of Meriwether Lewis and William Clark to explore the vast territory. So each of the four coin, or yeah, each of the four, there are four of them, have a different back, which is cool. So the first one is, we got lots of room. The Louisiana Purchase, so the agreement. And then you have the keel boat. Then the bison. So these are both 2004. And then ocean view. Or view of the ocean or something like that. What does it say? Ocean in view. So those are the four. But. Oh. They changed um, Thomas Jefferson on the front of them. <laughs> there you go, Disney. <laughs> Just cool. So that's the front of that one. That's the front of that one. And then this is the front of that one. And then him again. these four four oh five I should have a sack of old ones oh no those are oh, I was all excited to show you and I don't have them oh there's an old one Let's see what's in here So this one's from 41. But would you believe I do not have a new nickel? I don't have anything 2005 or newer. They um they changed the portrait on the front. And then um this one has Monticello on the back. And then they, they returned to Monticello is what they call the 2006. And it's got a, the same design, but it's a nice nicer print. But... Wouldn't you believe it? I have nothing newer than 2005 in front of me. That's actually kind of funny. 
Ah, I thought that was cool. There you go, my lady, dip in your hat. So I thought that was a cool set. I really like varieties, so I don't need every every coin every year, but I like the changes in them. So when they change, I, I want to collect that type of varieties. Dimes, they don't really do it before, I don't think. But the nickels have changed. Yeah, over the years. Knees high, yeah. I have to send out two packages because I, I, I didn't have these today. Yeah. So. I have to send out mail again, which is all, all good. I thought I had at least one sitting around. All right. What else do we want to look at? Still got that uncirculated roll. Cost way too much to send right now. Somebody's going to get it. Yep. The person it was for didn't want to spend 15 bucks shipping on just it. So get him, get him another one and load up the box. Oh, that's Jackson. All right, we'll see you. We'll see you later, America. Thanks for stopping by, sir. I am from Arizona. Louisiana Purchase. Thank you, France. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Paul. Thank you. I live in the state of Arizona in the United States. Um, so it's the, the very southwest of the United States, about an hour and a half, two hours from the Mexican border. Up in the mountains. I live in a very small mining town where they mine for copper. Yeah, yeah. No, that is awesome. Disney says she started collecting date runs of English coins after winning the 50p date run from Hannah. I especially like getting coins when they change designs. Uh, two different designs, same year. Yeah, four different designs over two years. Yeah. It's very, they're very cool. They only made nickel silver for, I think, two or three years. I could look it up in the 40s, but and those are called war nickels. Those are kind of cool. Oh, you live in the Northwest UK. Okay. Um, cool, cool. I can picture it. I couldn't name a sound up there. I believe a, my friend lives up there in Derbyshire. Derbyshire, I think that's right. Is that, I think that's Northwest. I know it's North. Ish. And I, I believe somebody lives in Helens, but um, I think that's West. I have no idea where Ian lives. But I think it's Southeast. Weymouth? Yeah. 
It's funny. I had to look at it. We got Grand Canyon to the north and Mexico to the south. And National Park quarters. I, I need a bunch more 2010, 2011, definitely, because that's Grand Canyon, like we're talking about. Yosemite, I think, is 11. No, definitely needs need to work on that. We are gonna um we're gonna take a couple days off of quarters. Um, I gotta let finances circulate, and when they circulate, um, we'll get back into them. Um, one order went through before I pulled them, and I didn't see it, and um, so I screwed up on that one, and. Okay, Derbyshire is the Midlands. Um, I screwed up on that one, and I'm going to try to see if I have the quarters here. But um, I'd already cashed in the quarters, so that and I, yeah, I don't think they're in the chat. I know they're not in the chat. The person that did them, but they went to the bank before I pulled them off, and that was my mistake. So I'll get that covered. And, but yeah, we'll 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 hit them again in the next couple of days. Um, today is Tuesday, so probably, depending on how tonight goes, probably t tomorrow. We, I might have some tomorrow. Oh, so these are cool. Let me, uh, uh, let, me, let me push up the, the, the pictures for you before I get these out. And I have I have a pile of quarters sitting here, and I'm not sure why. I think they're I think they're the leftovers from a roll. Let's see what's in there. Oh, I was going to say I feel like doing a. A giveaway that I can't do a number guess because I'm on two different channels at the same time. Uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? So I did find the the Massachusetts S mint proof the last time I hunted. That was a cool find. Yeah, Arizona State. That's where I live. The se sequoia, the cactus. Um, my mouth isn't working. Um, those grow all over around my house, so I can, I can kick one within about a, I don't know, thirty feet from my house. So that's cool. That's what it looks like here: cactus and desert. Yeah, I think these are the ones that didn't fit in the roll. So hopefully that order's in there. There's gives you a difference between the Massachusetts. So this the bottom one's Denver, the top one is San Francisco. So date runs at English coins. I have a date run from 71 to I think current 2019 of pennies. And I'm working on 50 piece, and then I'm gonna fill in. I think I have modern date runs of of 20p, 5, 20, 50. I'll have to look. I got to put them together. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, it blew me away when I found it. They make them in silver too, but this is not silver. I don't think. I don't know how it doesn't. Yeah, it just doesn't. Silver gives a a feel. It's just way too shiny for that camera. <laughs> All right, and then, then 2005, they first year they have the bison of the nickel, and we're just confusing it. Quarters and nickels. In Oregon. So I got some states in here. There's a couple parks in here too, like the Bob Ross, which is Frederick Doug Frederick Douglass. Yeah. Just looks like Bob Ross painting, which is kind of funny. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, Judith. <laughs> yeah, they're um they're bigger than a sheet of paper. They're they're like two sheets. Yeah, it they're pretty pretty good size albums. That's awesome. Yeah, your your quarter should be there any day now. You went out last week, I believe. If you ordered them for me. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. The 20 P's and one $10. Disney says, um, we got most of my 20 P's in one uh, $10 hunt. That was very lucky. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can go through pennies and find a series of probably probably both mints out of a box. But that's 25 bucks. Quarters, it takes a little more. Oh, Blue Ridge Parkway. Another Blue Ridge Parkway. Ah, Jersey. Washington crossing the Delaware. A Revolutionary War. That's a really bad example of it, though. North Mariana Islands. It's a cool coin. This is the one we want to find in a W. Hmm. Oh, they are for me. Okay, then yeah, they should uh, they should be be there anytime now. The holidays threw off the mailing out, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure where they ended up, but um, oh, it's got tracking. You should have been emailed tracking. You can tell exactly where it's at. That reminds I got three. I got to put the tracking in for those three I put out today. Or are they got Nope, they're already actually they're already gone. Darn it. Mm -hmm -hmm. I can go pull it off. Where about that? Yeah. No, yeah, they all have tracking. So you, you should have gotten emailed a tracking number. Now I'm curious. I'm going to go look. I'm going to feel bad. So I did have one package that went out that, um, but it went out like three weeks ago and it should have been there by now that I'm going to resend if it doesn't show up it, after this holiday. So if it doesn't show up tonight, today for him, then I'm going to resend it. Sorry, I'm looking for him. Yeah, now I'm curious. I don't know why I, that one didn't show a tracking number. So I'll have to go look. Oh, looks like everything was confirmed. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, they um, those should have gone out last week. They better have. Actually, you know, I remember, I remember the name. I remember talking to you about it. So yeah, I don't, I don't know why there's no tracking in there, but I'll go look for it later. I'll double check afterwards. Let me write that down. Ugh. I just sent out four more letters today, and one of them was missing one coin. But I know it wasn't. I know that one wasn't you. Oh, why am I doing that? Cool. And then down south, the southeast, they all of the states had had birds on their their coins for the the parks. So this one's kind of cool. 
Cumberland Island, Georgia. Oh, there's Tracy. Tracy, you're the one I was thinking of. Um, I split your package up into two. You'll get your tracking numbers this this evening. I forgot to put them in. I put a note in yours explaining what, what, what happened. I'm only missing one coin, too. It's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, I'll send you out a second package. So, you, Tracy has two. You were the one I was thinking of, but I didn't see you in here. <laughs> I'll double check them. Um, I do the postage through PayPal so I can print it right on the envelopes. And uh, everything's right there. But, um, yeah, if I don't have your guys' right email or um, I type it in wrong, it won't send you an email. But I'll double check. And I need to really throw them in the store, too. So I'll take care of that when we're done here tonight. But, you know, Tracy's I had to repackage. It was too heavy, so it's going out as two. Once they get above um, a certain ounce, um, they go from being first class to priority only, and that quadruples the price. We are in the future. Instead of me drop shipping, I'm going to bulk send them to to the UK, and then um throw them up on the website that way. And that way, um, we can have quantity up there all the time instead of me looking through them, adding it, and then taking it down a couple days later. I don't have the money to to hold on to three hundred dollars with the quarters right now. But I'm trying to get them out to you, so we're going to do our best we can this way. This is a Virginia with the Mayflower on it. Maybe not. Pinto, Santa Maria, something like that. Oh, I don't know my history. Yeah, the, the, um, yeah, no worries, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's great. You guys are so, yeah, so calm about some of this stuff. That's awesome. Oh, Silver Keys is babysitting. Sweet. The, yeah, it's the eight you ordered. I'm missing one of those coins. So everything, yeah, everything got put into one package. And I held out the whole, two whole collections because of that. So it'll be a second package. It happens to be the nickels, <laughs> the 2005. Thought I would have no problem, or 2006. I thought, oh, I'll just go get a roll of nickels and, and pull them out. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to go hunt for them. Um, what was the memorial coin? Is it, I don't know, is this one? The New Jersey? I'm not sure which one you were talking about, Disney. And dimes that just look the same forever. Very cool. No, uh, the yeah. It's just easier to have everything in one place too, and we've already got people set up to do to do shipping and take care of all that stuff. And yeah. no, you had it up on the screen. <laughs> well, thank you, Tracy. Let me know if there's anything you're interested in. I can always list stuff that I have that isn't up there yet. Um, I probably have about 300 pennies that are in, like, grain and uncirculated condition from 70s and 80s that I need to list individually. 
but that's just yeah that's gonna be a project I am completely drawn a blank. Oh, 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 I know what you're talking about. North Mariana Islands. American Park. American Memorial Park, 2019. Oh, brain fart. <laughs> oh, that was funny. It's a beautiful coin. In this... This, I use a microscope, a really cheap microscope, which works for, for most things, but on my screen, it looks a little grainy, but the coin in real life is just beautiful. Does that help out a little? No, not really. A little bit. It's pretty cool. Oh, Tracy says she likes sets, which is, which is why the quarters are perfect for her. Disney loves this one. It is cool. I wish the River No Return and um, San Antonio, the Texas one, those are really cool too. But I have, yeah, the 2019s, normally I find them all, but yeah, this last two hunts, we haven't, but... Yeah, let's see if we can get a little closer. Yeah, see when you when you get right up close to it, it's a little scratched up, but that's it's circulated. I'll move back to her face. That's really that's really, really close. And then we have the lettering on the side. You can see how, how zoomed in we are. Oh. I know I'm going way too fast for you, aren't I? That's probably way too close anyway. That is. Oh, grease on my finger. Uh, it, it's actually an Idaho coin, but Maryland. Like Marilyn Manson? One of the bearded dragons is all over the place today. I don't know if you guys can hear her. She's not very hand tamer. I'd, I'd show her off. <laughs> She's got like a, a two foot long tail. Oh, about a foot long. Knock everything over. All right. Did we get the last nickel in there? Ocean and view. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, that that just told me I'm not as old as I think I am. Um, okay, Marilyn Monroe. All right. Oh, very cool. Yeah, definitely use points on quarters. We love it. <laughs> Birthday points. Boom. Ah. What? 
shall we do next? Package up these nickels real quick. That is the White House. I don't have a picture of the Monticello. <laughs> the White House and the Monticello look a, a, a lot alike. But then people call the capital the White House too sometimes. All right. Another 2,000. <laughs> there you go, Tracy. There is no other Maryland worth mentioning. So we got 80s. These are 2010 up, but they're all really shiny, pretty. And I just got to go through and organize them. So there's 90s. Oops, you can't see that one. Oh, cool. This is what I was looking for earlier. This is a bag of, um, these are all my 2009s. And I was, I was missing a um, legislation one. I had to go through there and pull one out. That's kind of embarrassing. Oh, there's some shiny ones from the 60s. I do have some from the 60s too. They're never very shiny anymore. I should have one from the, there's the 70s. Yeah, so 60s, 70s, and 80s. These are somebody's collection dumps. They, they're, they're really, really nice. But I don't have, the whole series of either of those but then the 90s and the triple triple zeros yeah, there's a couple collections in there and then 10 up so that's pretty cool got a bunch of those to go through a couple of indian heads these two aren't listed on the site but the rest are i think i think, I think tracy actually got one they're they're cool to look at then I also get because of where I'm at this is these are pesos so these are Mexican Mexican change and that's a 20 cent. That's the smallest denomination they have right now. So this is a, yeah, this is the selection of their change up to five. Five peso. So yeah, 20 centavos, 50. That's one. That's their other one, newer one. Oops, and I flipped them all over. Yeah. So that's the currency they use about an hour away. Up to five, and then their their um exchange their their the value of their money is so small that this is after five, and I believe this one's twenty, yeah. So that's a twenty dollar or twenty twenty peso. And that should be ten. Cinco, five. Yeah, that's ten, and this one's ten. Yeah, so they've yeah they they've gotten them. And I believe, oh my God, I don't know the exchange rate in pounds. It's 18 pesos, 18 centavos to a penny, I think right now. So this, this is worth less in, in currency value. This is worth less than a penny because it's 20. So yeah, I think they're at 18 right now. Which would make this. Your 50 cent piece right now, even though it says $20 on it. So those are cool. A friend of mine had a whole jar of them. I'm like, I want one of each. He's like, dig in. So yeah. That's probably 10 bucks face value. <laughs> American.
The only place you've been in America is Florida. Oh, wow. I've never been to Florida. That's a Southeast. That's on the other side of the country. I've been everywhere else. Oh, that's nice. Um, Falkland, the only Falkland I have are um, 50 Ps. And I believe I have the one with the flowers on the front and a couple others. Our neighbors to the north. <laughs> we don't get we don't get many much Canadian currency in with our, our money mixed up, except for their pennies. And if you live up north, you get tons of their pennies in the change. And this is this is probably about half of what I've gotten out of every hunt I've ever done. I've probably got 10 in the book. But um, yeah, I don't get very many down here. But it's cool when I find them. Shiny. There's a 1971S. Now, the, the San Francisco Mint did release for circulation, just like Philadelphia and Denver, um, regular coins. So this isn't a proof, even though it has S on it. And they did that for a few years in the early 70s. It's a 79. i got to find a different spot. It's so dirty. better but I found these coin roll hunting you just snag them out when they're pretty but that's it the, the, anything else from the 70s was in way too bad a condition to to keep that one actually looks cleaned just has a little too much shine to it like it was polished nice 70s and these have the memorial in the back lincoln memorial and then the 09s they have the four different designs and then after that they change to a shield so that's what when we say shield we're talking about the back of our penny so it looks like this now that's our current shield I guess we're copying you guys <laughs> That's that 2019. That's a shadow. Ah. Under the scope, it looks nasty. Okay, yeah, it's a shadow. That finger's in the way. You can even tell the difference in the way they strike the coins now, too. It's completely different. Yeah. That would be the back of the new one. And then the, the portrait is, I believe, the same portrait, just um, re refined. Much cleaner. I'm getting so much glare. Maybe that's a little better. Is the first better gone? Yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. <laughs> it's pretty cool.
yeah, one of these days I'm going to do some <laughs> some paper exchanges and and send out send somebody um like a one, two, five, ten, and twenty dollar bill from here, and then have them send me the same thing back in in pounds or however it works out with exchange. So it's a fair trade, but yeah, that would uh, paper paper would be cool. We got a lot of paper currency on the website. Um, there's a a five pound note on there that is just immaculate and beautiful, but it's 700 pounds. So I guess it's something special, but it's pretty. And you flip it over and they have, I believe they have like the blueprint of the chapel on the back or something. It's like a top down diagram of the chapel. It's, it's a cool looking note, but definitely some notes on there that I'm gonna look at getting along with coins. I just I don't have any twos. I um oh somebody got a special surprise in the mail last week. Um I sent the wrong envelope. <laughs> and um I had all my two dollar bills in an envelope and um there was only four of them and I was supposed to send out one and um I sent the wrong envelope and sent out the four instead of just the one. Which is cool. When they get it, they'll let me know. I believe that's what I did with them. And they can keep them, that's awesome. That's my mistake, no worries. Yeah. But I just like, yeah, just like the way the notes look. And these are the American ones. And they change over time. The portrait used to be in the center in a circle or an oval when I was a kid. Then they moved them bigger and then they moved them out. <laughs> yeah. This one's actually got the White House on the back. And this will be quarters tomorrow. Ugh. Oh, Scottish notes, yeah. I love the the Scottish thistle. Is that, is that what it is? With the purple flowers and the, the big thistles? Those are cool. Oh, that is very cool. Yeah, the shiny ones are always fun to look at. You get excited. Now, they did make a 2019 W Penny, and it's all copper, and it was released in in, in the, the 2019 um, mint sets um, together with other other things. And people have, have taken apart the mint sets and sold just the W Pennies off because they're worth, they're worth quite a bit. I don't think you can find one in circulation. It, you might, but they can be bought. I think that's kind of cool. 2019 W and in 2017, they actually stamped P on them because normally uh, the Philly, which the two, the 1972 is from Philadelphia because it doesn't have a mint mark. But in um, 2017, they actually did a mint mark, which is cool. So that's another variety. Yeah, Chris, I'm gonna have to get some more. I have I have about 10 left, and they're all they're all wrinkled. So um, we um give them to the kids at Easter in Easter eggs. And um, these are, yeah, these are the ones they didn't spend. So there, yeah, I've got those left, but um, I'm not going to send you guys those out. I'll get more two notes when I have, when I have a little more cash. Because I can get series and crisp ones, so that, that's cool. We'll get it all figured out. No worries. I enjoy sharing this stuff with you guys. And, yeah. You guys have all been nice. Nice about being gentle when I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. And before Lincoln, it was Lady Liberty in a headdress. So they call it the Indian head penny. So she's on a lot of our currency. So there she is. I'm going to turn that light back up again because this one's dark. Yeah. Oh, I do not remember. Um, on the back of it, I believe it's uh, the signing of the Declaration of the Independence, if I remember right. Um, it's a bunch of a bunch of people standing around in a room. <laughs> let me actually let me grab one.
All right. Oh, that's where John, see Thomas Jefferson's on the front of this one too. Same guy on the front of the nickel, same guy in that, that one dollar that we found. Oh, there we go, Chris Dreyer. Yep, the signing of the Declaration of Independence. So then on the back, yeah, a bunch of guys in a room. <laughs> yeah, signing of the Declar Declaration of Independence. How did I, did I block the light? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, I can't zoom with this. My cell phone's tethered to the computer, so this is, yeah. Uh, so it doesn't like, doesn't zoom. I swear I'll get it steady. So yeah, this is a signing of the Declaration of Independence, which is our declaration to to England. I don't know if it was the United Kingdom or how it we we were always it to England. Uh, yeah. And it's really detailed that, and I think that's really cool. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a. Uh, let's get back to there. Give you guys a give you a seizures doing that. Ah, so yeah, the artwork on it's great. This one is um, 2013. Um, the new releases are still 2013 because they have stockpiles of them and they only release release them as they need them. So they print them in bulk and then release them as they need them and then when they run out they reprint them. So you get different print series on them. And then um, yeah. That's pretty normal serial number on it. But what I was going to show you, we have somewhere in here. There they are. What they call star notes. And they're sequential, which is kind of cool. And um, and they're they start with a zero, so they're low, low number. And I, I think the stars are replacements for, for bad printed serial numbers. But I'm sure somebody can correct me on that. It's something like that. But they're 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 low. They're lower vintages, so they're they're kind of cooler to find. And you find them regularly. They're nothing extremely special. My nephew wants to keep these two because they're sequential and star. But they're also this is from 2013 run. So yeah, the difference in numbers there. All right, I'm gonna let you look at that for a minute. I'm gonna go use the restroom.
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, yes, Christ, that's a great dollar note. Yeah, thank you, Disney. Yeah. I'm going to, you know, when I get the next batch, we'll put them on the site. We'll make them really affordable. Little Fire, how you doing? Welcome. We're just staring at $2 bills. But those, those are the nice ones. These are the... Here's what you normally get. Used and and this one was was torn in half. I have the other half of it still. But um, yeah, 2013. I believe that one's 2013 also. Another half of one. There's an 09. Oh, look at that. See, this is why he doesn't let me play in these very often. That is an awesome cereal. That is really cool. That's cool. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So it's zero, six, eight, and a one. People like that. I mean, four eights in a row. Oh, my friend Jeff, he's got one that's um, it's three eights, sixty nine, and three more eights. It might be four, sixty nine, four. So when you flip the dollar over, it reads the same. This one goes eight one eight eight. Yeah, but his it so it reads the same. Because the six flips over and turns into a nine. I think that's the coolest. That's the coolest I've seen. Oh, well, here's yeah, here's a zero zero one. Zero two. So lower mintages are are more popular. Yeah, that one's a double zero. Oh, February 20th, the new 20 pound notes come out. That's very cool. Hey, Popcorn King, how you doing? What were you talking about you earlier? About loading up your box so the postage makes it worth it. I just got to get stuff in it now. Yeah. I mean, this one's been folded. You can see the creases in it. It's still nice. But that's his. Yeah. Uh, stop showing off his collection. Yeah, all, all the two dollars um have the same design. They just have um like one had the, the data 2009 and the other one's 2013. That's just when they did the print job, not when they're released. I don't think they've made, I think the ones that are released now that are new are still 2013. Oops. I got, I got coins everywhere now. Uh, in there that one goes in there all right 
Well, guys, I have 16 of you in here. And I know you guys love looking at coins, and I believe Hannah and Scott are live right now. I saw something go off. Let me go check. But we're gonna get a go do a good old American raid on them if you guys would do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop off and do some work. But let me double check and see. Subscribe, why didn't it pull up? Oh, they're not live. How long was she? Oh, she only was on for an hour. I thought they'd be on for a few hours. Oh, darn. I was going to I was gonna have you rate them, but um, they're not on anymore. And I don't see anybody else on live. Oh, oh well. That bites. All right, guys. Red Book is awesome. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. You guys have a good evening. I'm just, I'm just looking to see if anybody else I know is on. I'm not seeing anybody on this. Oh, I'm on the other account too. All right, guys. Everybody have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. We'll have quarters. I just saw that, Judith. Yeah. They're still on. We go raid them. I go join them. Hang out with them for a few minutes. But um, they're great. Go check out what they did. Very, very cool. All right. You guys all have a good day. Catch you later.